this is my cigar journal, and today I'm gonna to show you how I use it and why I think you should have one. Welcome to the Stogie Nation. What's up guys, Stogie Moose here. Before we get started, please be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on so that you can get every little bit of content this channel has to offer. So as I stated in the beginning of the video, this is my cigar journal. And here in just a second, I'm gonna turn the camera around so I can show you the inside, how I have the template set up and go through what's in there and how I use it and why I use it. Then after that, we'll turn the camera back around and I'm gonna go over some reasons why I think you should have one and what it's good for. All right guys, so here's my template. On each page, I have two of these. You can see the beginning of the second one in the bottom of the screen here. But it's pretty simple. I do use a 20 point system over a 100 point system or something else. Uh, I feel anything over 20 points and it just gets convoluted and too difficult. My scoring system does have four categories. You've got construction, flavor, strength, and appearance. Five points each, of course. The only thing I normally judge before I light the cigar is the appearance, because it's kind of hard to judge how it looked after you smoke it. Uh, next to that, I have a place to put my bands. Then I have the manufacturer, the brand or line. So say for instance, it was a Drew Estate cigar, but it was an underground. So I would put that there. Uh, next is the wrapper type. I'll put that there if I can find information on it. Then the length, the ring gauge. Over here, I have filler type be it long filler or mixed filler. There are some Cuban sandwiches or mixed filler uh, cigars that I do enjoy smoking, or if somebody someday wants me to review one for them, I'm more than happy to do that. And then I have where I purchased it from, and if it's a b and I'll put the shop location because we have a couple chain b and that have two or three or, or more different locations in my general area, and some of their humidors are great, some aren't. So I'll put the shop location down just so I can be sure that if it was good to go back, if it wasn't, don't. Then obviously the cost. So after that, I'll light up the cigar and I'll start to smoke. And I'll, down here in this notes section, I'll write down flavors as they come or disappear or change or, you know, anything else that I feel like I need to put in there. If it, if it burned bad or if it needed touch-ups, anything like that. I'll put that in there. And after all that's all said and done, I'm done smoking the cigar. I'll go back through my notes and I'll think about how the cigar was put together. And I'll think about things like draw. Uh, was it rolled well? Um, you know, did it want to break apart on me or come apart? Uh, did the caps fall off? Something like that. Did it burn wonky? Did it need a lot of touch-ups? Those sorts of things. So after I think about those, I'll grade the construction, be it one through five. And then I'll look at the flavor notes and I'll think about the flavors as far as my palate's concerned. Did I enjoy the flavors for what they were? And I'll grade them accordingly. And same thing with strength. Was it strong or was it not strong? At the end of the cigar, did I have a nicotine buzz? Did I feel sick or did I not feel anything? Then after I have all my numbers circled, I simply do a little bit of simple addition and I put my final score right there. That's my template. It's pretty simple. All right, now that we're turned back around, firstly, if you like the template and you want a copy of it, just send me a message here or on my Instagram. You can find me at Stogie Moose on the Instagram and hit me up there and I'll be glad to email you a copy or I can send it over Messenger or something else. Uh, we'll figure it out. We'll get it to you if you want it. Uh, like I said before, there are other templates out there that you can use. Uh, I just didn't like them, so I made my own. And that was that. All right, guys, now I'm going to go over some reasons why I think you should start your own cigar journal. And first things first, if you're new to cigars, it lets you track what you like and what you don't. Secondly, it lets you expand your palate and see how your palate's changed over time. I know when I started my cigar journal, it was just basic flavor notes, but now I'm starting to get into a little bit more finer nuance, even though it's still not that great. But it still works for me and I enjoy it. And last things last, it's a conversation piece. 
whether you're new to cigars or you've been into cigars for a long, long time, when you have a big book full of awesome looking cigar bands and information, and uh, somebody else who's into cigars sees it, they're going to ask about it. And it can spark some really good conversation, maybe a new friendship. Who knows? At the end of the day, why you smoke cigars is really up to you. But if, like me, you like to keep track of them and what you like and what you don't, then having the cigar journal is a really, really great way of doing that. As always, please be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and get down there in the comments and tell me what you think of cigar journals. Do you like them? Do you think they're a waste of time? Either way, get down there, tell me what you think. I'll see you down in the comments section, Stogie Nation. Peace.